welcome back to uh, November Vlogs here on the Lady Wing Designs channel. I am uh, just vlogging a little bit every day to celebrate my birthday month. So I hope you've all been doing well. Um, it is Tuesday, November the 17th, 2020. It's just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, if you've been watching these vlogs... Uh, you know, for a few days or the entire month, you will uh, have noticed that the vlogs the last couple of days for the 15th and 16th were practically non-existent. Um, I was able to at least get one clip a day so that they're, you know, I can still say I vlogged every day, so that's good. Um, yeah, I've just been taking it slow and needing uh, like more mental rest time, and I know y'all understand that, so... It's okay. Uh, nothing's, yeah, nothing's really happened other than that. Um, no, definitely not a lot of stitching. I've more been knitting than anything. I'll show you my cardigan later. Where I'm at on that. Boyfriend and I just kind of chilled uh, Sunday and Monday and watched TV. Nothing exciting. I, um, I didn't craft a lot. We just kind of hung out, so... That is why the last couple days were a little short, but I am I'm feeling a little uh, rejuvenated, I guess. I don't know. I was just needing a break, like I said, for a couple days there. So this is my half and half triangles wrap by Pearl Soho. If you've been watching the vlogs, um, you've seen a lot of it. So. It's coming along. Let me flip this a little bit here. So this is, that's where it was the last time I did a whip update last Thursday. Um, I'm just leaving it there for, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I, yeah, I don't know why it's there, but it's fine. I didn't think to move it up or anything when I started working on this, so I'm not quite sure where this was when I posted yesterday on Instagram, but that's okay. You can see, you can see here, so this is where the wrap and turn is, and that's how many stitches I have left to get through. So I'm getting there. Of course the rows are getting longer now, so it's just taking, you know, a little bit longer to get to all of the stitches. But that is that. Um, I will put all the information for my projects down below in the description bar. Uh, just so I don't have to like keep saying the yarns uh, and things every day. It does get a little old for me. So this is what I'm working on right now. I am on the uh, International Virtual Knit Nights, IVKN. Talking to some really good friends. So... I'm enjoying that and I'm knitting while I'm on there and then I am feeling the stitchy bug again. It, it disappeared for a couple days but it's back and I just kind of wanted to work on something a little different. I don't really want to work on Snape just yet so I decided to work on one of the projects that I'm hoping not to take into 2021. So this is uh, by The Blue Flower. It's Quilting Bee. This came out 20... 2018. Um, it was a market release, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I started this um, last year, I think. I want to say last year. I'm not sure that I've worked on... No, that's a lie. I think I did start it this year. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I've got it loaded up in my Q-Snap. Um, this is... Can I lift this a little bit? That's really all I've gotten done there. Um, a little bit of gold, more of the gold color there. But I haven't done the top of the B at all and nothing else uh, on this side is done. So it's just this bit, which, let me prop it on my leg here. As you can see, I still have to fill in this little section over here. And then I started working this way. So. Uh, this this uh, started motif is right here 
So as you can see, I'm very close to this left edge and then I'll be going up. So I'm just going to work on this side. This is on uh, some, I think it's 28 count, just natural uh, even weave. I got it at a retreat, the only cross stitch retreat I've ever been to. Um, but yeah, I got it in January, so I haven't worked on it. I don't know. I'd have to look at my calendars and see if I have it written down or maybe it's on Instagram or something, but it's definitely been months. Uh, I have not touched this in a while. This needle minder is a little egg from Top Knot Stitcher and Grime Guard is from Silver Moon Sewing, as are most of my Grime Guards. Pretty much all the ones that I show <laughs> on a regular... No, no, lies. This is from Fat Girl Sewing. I have um, a couple from her. I got some for my 8x11 uh, Q-snap setup. So this is from Fat Girl Sewing. Yeah. It's usually, um, I have the two from Fat Girl Sewing and then all of the rest of them are Silver Moon Sewing that I use on a regular basis. So, okay. Anyway, I'm going to get back to uh, knitting on my shawl and hopefully I'll have a little update with some cross stitch for you later. Okay, so here we are again. Um, it's not quite the end of my night. Uh, funnily enough, it is about half an hour past midnight, so it's actually the next day. Oops. I was, I've been very into just hanging out with, uh, with floss tube friends and, and knitting podcast friends. And, uh, yeah, I, I did some back and forth at first, uh, sorry, that's my microwave, I need to eat. Um, I was going back and forth between this and the half and half wrap, just whenever I felt like I wanted to switch, and, uh, yeah, right now I'm really loving Quilting Bee, so I'm glad that I got it back out. One thing that I did want to show... And of course I don't, sorry for the shaking. Okay, here's the other color. So uh, this chart is, it's charted in Gast um, and one Crescent Colors. And I used the DMC conversions for that and then a couple of them also got changed. Um, so somehow this is the color that I landed on for one of the stash conversions that I made and this is one of the suggested DMCs um, so they were supposed so okay you can see in like all of these and same thing up here uh, they're at two opposite ends of the motif and you can totally see that they're different colors um, you know it's slight but you can see it here this outside color here, which was already done, is this 779. And then you were supposed to fill it in on the inside with this color, which for me is 839. Long story short, <laughs> partially long, whatever. Um, I should have just, when I didn't have the kind of conversion that they had on there, I really should have just looked at the actual uh, pattern picture because you can see like that color is supposed to be like pretty dark um, you can even see it like within like this motif here because I just did a bunch of that brown in here like it's supposed to be darker so I should have you know taken that into consideration but I like it it's giving it overall a more muted effect so it's okay but anyway, in here, you're supposed to fill it in with the darker brown, and it basically disappeared uh, the way that the colors played together. So I decided to just throw in this 3857. It's like a, it's a more reddish uh, brown or brownish red. I don't know how you want to, it's a good brick color, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to substitute that in for the 839 if I get to sections where 
I think, um, I think it blends in too much or like if they're right next to each other, I think is what I'm going with for right now. And then there's a border that goes around the entire project. There's a one stitch border and I'm going to do that in this 3857 also. But this is when I got done today. I filled in over here and worked more on all of this. So I hope y'all had a great Tuesday. Until tomorrow, friends. Bye. Hey y'all, and welcome to the Lady Wing Designs channel. My name is Zakia, and we're back for another November vlog. So today is Thursday, November the 19th, 2020. Um, you'll notice that yet again, I am putting two days together. So uh, yesterday, Wednesday the 18th, the only thing that I crafted on whatsoever was um, my half and half wrap, which I worked on during this, um, the last craft with me that I did yesterday. So, um, what was I about to say? Yeah, so I put in a uh, part of the craft with me. I just muted it and put some music over it today. Um, you saw, you would have seen that before this clip just to, you know, represent the 18th as well. So it wasn't necessarily a vlog clip, but I'm determined that every day will be represented, so it worked out. Um, yeah, so it is just after 1 p.m. here, um, and I'm going to be working on the blue flower again, or, well, this is Quilting Bee by the blue flower, and uh, we're coming along. So I have now reached this corner and started working up a little bit, and I'm almost done with this motif. Um, yeah, so we're, we're about, I have a little bit on this motif as well, this little middle one there. So I'm about ready to move the key snap. So this is where I am. I clearly just stopped mid-stitch to film, but that's fine. So I don't, re I don't really remember where I was, uh, the last time that I showed y'all, which would have been a couple days ago now. But, um, yeah, so I think I already had this motif done. I think this was all done. I've done this black one. Um, I have one more color in here. So basically what I'm doing now, this uh, yellow that I'm adding pretty much is the last one that I need to do. Um, I'm filling in this section. It goes here. I need to put it here. And actually now that I'm looking at this pattern again I missed some stitches in here and this green color so I'll go back and put those in and then the yellow is the last color over here and then I might start working on this motif um, it would be this one but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and move the Q-snap up uh, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I'll probably just go ahead and move up and um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm not quite sure if I want to start on this wing. I think that I will just because I'll be able to get it in the Q-snap because you can see here I have the full uh, width of the B. I, I'm fitting about this much in my Q-snap anyway right now. So I'll probably be getting started on the B's wing. Might as well. But anyway, that is what I'm working on today. All the details for the projects will be below as usual. Um, yeah, I just, it, it's become a lot to kind of say the, the same details over and over. So never fear, they will be in the description box. Okay, I am going to go back to working on this and I will check in sometime later today. Hey y'all, and welcome to uh, day 20 of the November vlogs. My name is Zakia. Um, it is Friday, November the 20th, and it's very late. It's almost the 21st at this point. 
Uh, in fact, it is 1121, which is kind of funny because that's tomorrow's date. Anyway, uh, so today's Friday. We have a home football game this weekend, so I worked servicing today. Um, yeah, before I went servicing, there was... I uh, finished up some laundry and ate... What else did I do? Just like chores things around the apartment, really. Um, I, I didn't get to craft at all this morning um, before I went to work. And then I took, I take this sock with me on Fridays to servicing um, to work on whenever there's downtime. And I was, I had only done like three or four rows of the ribbing uh, down or rounds of the ribbing down here. So I finished my ribbing, and now we're into the stockinette. I don't remember where I got this Elephant Progress Keeper from, but that's okay. It's marking the first round of my leg, and here's the, get out of the way, yarn. Here's the um, back of the sock. So it's totally blowing out. It's at night. Um, it's just the overhead light at this point. So let me see if I can get this yarn out. So this is just a vanilla sock that I'm knitting and I do, sorry for the shaking y'all, I do actually have the first sock here. So this is the Gingerbread Man colorway from Hypnotic Yarns. Yeah, it's super blowing out. It's very much a brown tonal base. Um, it's showing up more like natural beige-ish here, but it's very brown. That's okay, lighting and such. But yeah, so this is the skein. Um, you can see the like brown speckles over in there, or the darker brown speckles. The entire skein has like a toasted type color to it. Um, and then as you can see, there are red and green speckles as it is a Christmas colorway. So I am knitting this pair and tr hopefully going to finish it before uh, the deadline, but I am knitting these as part of the hashtag Festive Sock Along 2020, which is hosted by Amy of uh, The Stranded Podcast, and that ends on December 1st. So I'm not quite sure if that means... We have until the end of December 1st to post, or we have until the end of November 30th to post. Either way, <laughs> I'm going to try to get these done in November. So this is the second song. We'll, we'll see. Um, the only other thing that I worked on today, which you can see here, is my half and half triangles wrap yet again. So um, I just put this marker here before I recorded because I totally forgot to, I just picked it up and started knitting. Um, I know I did a few round or rows here. I'm not quite sure how many. Honestly, maybe just like three or four. It really wasn't that many. I just worked on it a little bit as I talked to my mom on the phone. So I am about to call it a night. Um, I think that I showed this to you sometime recently like how many about how many stitches I have left sorry my hands all up in the screen here so that's where the wrapped the last wrap stitches so it's getting there we shall see but yeah per usual all the uh, details about this are in the description box below hopefully I will get some time within the next couple of days to um, talk about how I um, how I striped this pattern because it's very simple um, yeah I got a comment on one of my videos the other day uh, I think on the craft with me um, asking about it so hopefully I will have the brain space to remember that and um, and talk about it at some point in the next couple days but Either way, it'll definitely get talked about when I finish the project. So, okay, I'm going to call it a night. I feel like I'm about to start rambling. 
uncontrollably now. I just, I love these colors, y'all. I can't wait for this to be done. So, all right. I hope everyone had a really great Friday. Um, hopefully, we have an, a little bit of an earlier game tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get a little bit more crafting done to be able to show you. But until then, happy crafting, y'all. Bye. Hey y'all, and welcome to day 21 of the November vlogs. So it is a little bit before 11 a.m. I am about to um, get up and eat, get up off the couch, I mean, and eat and uh, get ready to head out for, for the game today for work. But um, I, I am a person that like I need the time if, if I don't have to get up super early. I need that time to like sit and wake up, <laughs> especially today because I've, I've been feeling very grouchy already. So it's fine. Um, but yeah, so I caught up on, uh, Claire's videos, uh, beautiful clarity. I watched her last three stitch with me's and I think I started, I think I was in this square when I started. So I finished that one, um, which, and then this one I think also helped finish this block because it was like the same colors. And yeah, so I've started on this one. You can see I have two more parked colors here. They'll have to wait until tonight. But um, yeah, so if, I don't remember if I said it, all the project details as always will be down below, but this is Severus Snape by the Cross Stitch Salon. So it's coming together. I totally forgot to look at um, at how many stitches I'd done this morning, like, and how many I have left for both the park and the Wheel of Fortune word. Um, so both of these are challenges for full coverage fanatics. It's their National Parks Challenge, and uh, Wheel of which is yearly. National Parks is a yearly challenge for this year, and Wheel of Fortune is for the month of November. So I'm getting close. Um, I did what, maybe, maybe 350, maybe somewhere around there. So I, yeah, I'm under the thousand mark now. So hopefully we'll get that done soon, but okay. I am off to work and I will chat with y'all again this evening or tonight. It'll be nighttime by the time I get back and get settled. But until then. Welcome to day 22. So um, it is Sunday, November the 22nd, um, continuing these November vlogs. So yeah, um, as you just saw, I decided I've been in a not great mood today since I woke up and I decided I needed to block some shawls. Let's try to do something productive. It'll make me feel a little better, right? 
So um, these are two shawls. This one I like recently found again. <laughs> Sad. It was in a bin with a bunch of yarn and things that I was like, oh, you know, I'll get to that eventually. And it was stuffed in the bottom of the bin. So this is the Katie shawl, um, or actually it's Katie's shawl, like apostrophe S, uh, by Cozy Up Knits. They have one for each sister. So you can see it's like being overlapped up there by the other one, but that's fine. And it's hanging off a little bit at the top. That's also fine. Um, yeah, I love the detail on this. The little, did they call these eye stitches? I don't remember, but it was a really fun knit. Highly recommend. Um, this, this yarn is Teeny Button Studio in the Burrow, as in like Harry Potter. And this one is Rita Mae Yarns in a uh, fawn like is that a baby deer no something to do with a fawn f-a-w-n i can't remember right now anyway so that's that one you can kind of see it all more there um and then this is my seeky shawl so uh, as you just watched i put pens along the pins whatever, along the top edge there. Um, so I made this forever ago. It was supposed to be, it's crocheted if you can't tell. Um, it was supposed to be donated as like a stress ball, but I didn't feel like it was stuffed very well. Like, I mean, it's not bad, but I thought it could have been a little better. Anyway, I ended up keeping it. I bought like forever ago now, I bought a hundred pack of just little pins um and this is how I keep them so it's basically a pin cushion now <laughs> um whoops and now I'm losing pins okay anyway so this one I just laid out and tried to make the edges like as straight as possible um mostly because I was trying to save pins for the Seeky shawl but it all worked out so if I zoom in a little here you can see um this is the twisted knit side uh, if you've been here a while i've been working on this for a little bit now and so you can see how the the twisted stitches opened up wonderfully once they're blocked so yeah that is the entire shawl oh it's huge and i'm super excited about it um so now it is time to just let them dry i was thinking about pinning these edges as well I don't want it to pull too much across the top but also like like this one I whoops this side I think is gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something right there because it's pulling in a little too much for me so yeah I'm gonna figure that out really quick and then I don't know what next <laughs> um I will come back and show you uh some of the crafting that I've been doing today it's not really much but uh we'll talk about that next oh and i totally didn't say um even i mean if you've been here recently you know but this yarn is uh meddlesome by stranded dye works uh the main color i alternated two skeins and the bind off color is love knots by super crafty girl so yeah all right, let me fix this right side and uh, then we'll show you some crafts. Okay, so um, for time reference, and this is like just after I've done the blocking thing, so a bunch of time hasn't passed, but um, just for reference, it is 1.45 p.m. Anyway, I worked on Snape a little bit this morning. Um, yeah, I only did like finishing up this block down here and starting in on this block up here. So my, I think it's only like a little over a hundred stitches. So I didn't do that much this morning, but slowly but surely I'm getting there. I am 600, 600 and like 50 stitches away from the park and the word finish. So yeah, slowly but surely 
I think this is going to be my goal for the rest of November to just hopefully get Snape done. Not as much as I'd hoped for that challenge, but it's okay. And the challenges that I'm referencing are in the Full Coverage Fanatics Facebook group. I will link them below. And if I didn't say it, this is Severus Snape by the Cross Stitch Salon. So getting started on the second half, or well, yeah, the bottom half of the project. And then other than that, pajamas. Okay. <laughs> so other than that, I am now working. Whoops, let's move the camera up a little bit. I am now going back to my Winter Nights cardigan by Shannon Larson because it's Sunday. My birthday is in four days. And um, yeah, I mean, I want to have this done by Wednesday. Um, and I think I'm going to have to work Wednesday. So yeah, I really need to have it done, like finished knitting um, either Wednesday before I go to work or like have so much done that I have barely anything to do when I get off work because I want to, um, I'm going to throw this in the washer and dryer because it's a hundred percent acrylic, so it won't hurt it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm working on this. I didn't think to grab a tape measure so I, so we could see how far along I am on this. It's looking like... Can I, can I do this? Maybe? Uh, yeah, so I'm probably at four inches or very near it. Um, and yeah, I think I have a couple more inches to go on the hem. And I might be adding another inch as well. I'm not sure yet. Uh, this is the fourth skein, which I was adding the last time y'all saw this project. So yeah, I've just got one more skein of this yarn after this, so we shall see. And what I might do, um, I might just leave the bottom of the hem on as live stitches on this cable and uh, go in and finish the pockets and then do the sleeves and then come back so that I can add like extra link to this if I want. I think that's what I'm going to do now that I've said that, so... Okay, um, and this yarn is, do I have, let's grab the other one so I can show you the tag. So this is Loops and Threads Impeccable. Um, it's an Aran weight yarn, 187 yards per ball. And of course this is like the messed up one, but the name of it is Falling Leaves Variegated. And the color, um, hilariously enough, the color number is 2020. So, okay. I, um, I've only done, like, not even a row on this cardigan. So, you haven't missed much for what I've done today. Um, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to place a stitch marker up here, or a progress keeper, so that we'll know where I was when I showed you, and we'll see where I get to today. I do not plan on doing much. Um, I finished some laundry. I need to wash dishes. I might do a few things, but honestly, I'm just going to sit, listen to music. I'm listening to a lot of throwbacks. Um, yeah, I'm just enjoying my day. I very much needed anything to make me a little happier after this morning, so... And nothing bad happened. It's it's just one of those moods, y'all. So, okay. I will catch up with y'all later today. <laughs>